Hi, if you're new to this channel, welcome. We are Annette and Wayne. Welcome to our journey. Join us, a retired couple, on an exciting adventure as we embark on a new chapter of our lives in Portugal. From navigating the vibrant culture to crafting our dream home from scratch, this channel is your front row seat to the highs, lows and everything in between. Let's explore the beauty of Portugal together. Witness the magic of the building of a home that echoes our story. Subscribe and be part of our unforgettable adventure. So we're just um, bringing Rosie out for a walk. Thought we'd visit uh, the river beach at Vi Vinheiro. Vinheiro. Um, the last time we came here it was flooded. <laughs> So um, it's a pleasant change. It's a very pretty little river beach. I just uh, bring Rosie for a walk. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but it's teeming with water boatmen. Very clear. Very pretty. Very pretty. To the freeways of São Pedro de Alva. Um, <laughs> this is typical of uh, Portuguese this time of year. This is a fairly main road. You just see how many cars go by. This is the bridge of Vimiero, which was built in 2002. flying blind now <laughs> we've no idea where we're going but the good thing in Portugal is you just follow these signs and there is a 
public footpath going somewhere. <laughs> yeah, if it's across, don't go down that way. If they're two straight lines, you're okay. We've no idea where it goes. Mini adventure. Okay, we have to turn left. We will. We did uh, part of a forest walk, but <clears throat> uh, we didn't know what the route was and it kept on taking us away from the river beach. So I decided to err on the side of caution and retrack and come back until we can find out where the actual trackway goes. Um, but as we're walking back, there's a really big hill on my left hand side, I'll just turn the camera around if I can and just crossing the bridge but we've just been saying who the hell drives up there that's a near vertical trackway oh it's more than that I think well yeah 45 46, 50 degrees, something like that. But it's definitely a trackway because the track comes round the bottom of it. But hellfire, you need a, a beast of a 4x4 to get up there. We decided to walk around on the main road back to the car park rather than clam, clambering over slippery walls. Uh, and again, I don't think, I can't remember seeing a car. All the um, contrails up in the sky from all the jets. I think that way must be Lisbon. We're all heading to Lisbon. Oh, hoo -hoo, excitement! A car! Two cars! Oh my word! Well that's our excitement for the day. This is obviously for motorhomes. Sorry? No, I'm just saying I don't think this was built, but there's there's taps, there's areas to drop your water. Grey water and the black water. A little tap, that's really cool. And I'm definitely sure this wasn't here the last time we came. Yeah, the benches were because we sat there with the dogs, but uh, this is all new. And parking for motorhomes, although there's a, there's a couple of, well, there's quite a few big long ones there on the side as well. And there's actually more parking down by the river. Oh, a car, a car! <laughs> Two! Wow, busy. Total gridlock. <laughs> or Annette said the lights must have changed. Rosie and I have decided to um, come out for a walk to the end of the peninsula on this really glorious, beautiful morning. There's an old abandoned wreck boat here at the end of the peninsula. But yeah, fantastic walk. Really nice forest walk. And there's some 
can't see if you can make it out. There's some canoeists training over there. I think Rosie's just seen them, curious. Who is it, Rosie? Hey, who is it?